Man, this stimulus mess is making my beard turn gray. Hey everyone, it's the IRS is sending checks to dead people. It's time for your stimulus check update for Friday, April 17th. Well, this has been a terrible rollout, a real disaster by any measurement. And if you want real news, just look at the comment thread on my last stimulus check video where hundreds of you didn't get your payments and you're pulling your hair out. You had payments sent to the wrong bank accounts. The list goes on and on. Now we're gonna go through five reasons why you might not have gotten your check, but I wanna to get to where things stand right now. We'll get to that in a moment. Now the Treasury Department says that 80 million Americans have received their direct deposits. That sounds great, but it's not true, according to reports coming in from all over the country, including right here on my channel. Now one of the most disturbing stories is that the IRS has been sending checks to people that died years ago. Here is just one example from Market Watch, a Market Watch story, Representative Tom Massey, a Republican from Kentucky, Republican from Kentucky, said Wednesday a friend texted him to say that his father had just received his $1,200 in stimulus money. That sounds great. There's just one problem. He died in 2018. Now let me know if you've had a similar experience, a similar problem with your check or in your family. Please leave me a comment below to tell me your experience. It's been really helping other people. In Florida, tax preparer Adam Markowitz also has seen examples among his clientele of the IRS sending stimulus money to dead people this week. And what's even more interesting is that it appears the survivors can keep the money. Markowitz and other tax experts told MarketWatch that they can keep it. So I guess that's good news. If you have a relative that passed away recently, you get to keep their stimulus money. If the IRS makes that mistake, I guess there's a silver lining. And we wonder why our country is massively in debt, folks. Um, it isn't easy for the government to check and see if a person is dead or not. Come on, presumably they, would, they wouldn't still be receiving their social security benefits, so they could probably check that in their computer software, right? Well, one thing we also learned this week is incredibly troubling, is that the government, many governments and local governments are using incredibly old computers and software systems, even some phones from the 1970s. Now, this isn't the first time the federal government has issued stimulus checks to dead people. Remember this, more than 71,000 dead uh, Social Security recipients received $250 stimulus payments back a few years ago under the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. So this isn't the first time. Now, if the IRS doesn't yet have the 2019 return, what's doing is looking at the adjusted gross income of your 2018 tax return to determine the size of a household's stimulus check. So single filers with adjusted gross incomes below 75,000 will receive a $1,200 payment and married couples making under $150,000 will receive a $2,400 check. The government will also pay you $500 per qualifying child under the age of 17. Now, I wanna defend the IRS here because the IRS knows that some people are gonna receive money when they didn't qualify. But their goal, according to them, is they wanted to expedite this process. That was their number one concern. So they wanted to get money out to people, even if it wasn't accurate. But the problem is, and I award them for that, there are many people who are living that should be receiving checks right now that are not, but dead people are getting checks. So about 80 million people were sent their stimulus payments this week, but if you weren't one of them, it doesn't mean you won't get your money. So you're one of roughly 60 million people that are still waiting for their checks. About 90% of Americans are eligible for these payments, which will phase out for those high income earners we just talked about. Now this has come according to the Tax Policy Center, the, interna the Internal Revenue Service started by sending money out to people that it could reach the fastest. That was their goal, people with direct deposit information on file. That was anyone who had that information already on file with the agency because they were due a refund on either their 2018 or their 2019 federal tax returns, okay? Others like Social Security and Supplemental Security income recipients should receive their payments automatically very soon. That's what the IRS is saying this morning. Then the agency will begin sending paper checks with President Donald Trump's signature on them. We talked about that the other day to those who haven't authorized a direct deposit in the past two years or so. Now on Wednesday, the IRS officials said those checks should start going out next week. So next week, according to a congressional democratic aide, that's gonna happen next week. But the agency can only process roughly 5 million checks a week. So it could take months before all of them are sent out. 
Now, here are five reasons why you might not have received your money just yet. I'm going to go over these five reasons. If you Number one, if you didn't get a federal tax refund in 2018 or 2019. Okay, so even if you filed your 2018 or 2019 taxes electronically, that doesn't mean that the IRS can just direct deposit the money into your bank account. You must have received a refund in those years via direct deposit to get money delivered automatically. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to go to their website and put your bank account information in there. Okay, so if they don't have that on file, there's no way to do it. So you've gotta make sure you use that online tool at irs.gov to put your info. The second reason is that your refund went to an old bank account and you maybe got a new bank account. So if you didn't receive a refund in 2019 or haven't filed yet, the IRS will use the bank account information that they used for a few years ago to send you your 2018 tax return. So a lot of people are reporting that they, money was sent to an old account that was closed. Um, and then the bank had to transfer the money back to the IRS. Oh, what a nightmare. So they sent the money out to an old account. Now they sent it back to the IRS. So you can go to the IRS tool that I mentioned the other day called Get My Payment. It allows you to put in your updated bank account information. But it's only helpful if the agency doesn't already have an account on file from 2018 or 2019 and hasn't processed your stimulus payment yet. If they have already filed your stimulus payment, then we've got a, a nightmare on our hands because now that money is being sent back to them. You'll need to reach out to the IRS and tell them that, hey, this was moved to a bad bank account. All right, number three on the list, your refund went to a temporary account set up by your tax preparer, like an H&R Block. Now, I've heard from a lot of you that this happened. You may not have realized it, but sometimes your tax preparers set up a temporary account or they give you a card where your tax refund is deposited first. Well, they take out their fees and things like that. And then before they transfer the money to you at your bank account. Sometimes this is like a like sort of an advanced loan is kind of how it works. Well, this may take longer for you to receive your stimulus money if that's the case. I, I heard from many of you in the comments that said you did this. When your stimulus payments were sent out in 2008, this is how it happened. This glitch affected about 20 million people, but they eventually received the money by a paper check. So you're just gonna have to wait months perhaps. Some people who used the popular tax preparers like TurboTax and H&R Block, and received a refund on one of those debit cards, the, um, the IRS can't confirm yet whether or not these payments will hit those cards. So you may have to wait and sit, get a paper check. H&R Block said this week that it's still waiting for answers from the IRS. They haven't been communicating, but that some people who've used those Emerald debit cards will see their stimulus money transferred there. So if you've got that Emerald card, check that. TurboTax says the IRS has the appropriate banking information for all of its filers and that if any of its customers who are eligible for a stimulus payment and have their refund transferred to one of those debit cards, they will receive their payment without delays or fees. That's good news. Number four, you received a paper return in 2019. Now, most people file electronically, but some still send in paper returns. If you are, you know, we're right now in the middle of this pandemic, the IRS has many employees working remotely and they've stopped processing paper returns until its uh, offices are able to reopen. So if you didn't get a refund directly deposited in 2018 and you filed a paper return for 2019, you might be waiting for a paper check with your stimulus money. Again, it could take months. Number five reason you might not have gotten it, you're not normally required to file a tax return. Look, there are millions of low-income people out there who don't normally file a tax return. They're going to have to take some action here before receiving your stimulus money. Go to their website. Go to irs.gov. Put your information in there. So these are individuals typically who do not earn more than $12,000 a year or married couples who did not earn more than $24,000 a year. If that's you, you've got to go to their website and file it, okay? They won't, have, they won't have to file a whole new form, but they created that online tool for non-filers, it's just gonna ask you for some basic information on their website, including your names, birth date, social security numbers for your person filing, and if you've got dependents, any children, then they won't have to provide any income information, you don't have to give them anything like that. The tool will allow you to input a bank account, okay, for direct deposit, I hope you have a bank account, or you can address, uh, or an address to receive a paper check, they can just mail you the paper check. So that's how they want you to check that. Okay, they want you to go to their website and they want you to check via this online tool. It's very important. IRS.gov, the Get My Payment 
and there's another area where you can plug in your bank account information, two different tools there. For you. One for you to track your payments and the other one for you to input your bank account information. Look, I know a lot of you are frustrated. A lot of you have been emailing me, sending me messages uh, right here and uh, asking for our advice. This is our best advice. This is coming from the IRS. This is coming from tax preparers. I'm not a financial advisor, but this is how you have to do it. Okay, uh, we've heard from a lot of you that have received your direct deposits. That's great news. But many, many of you are incredibly frustrated that you haven't been able to get it and you're having to pay rent. You're having to you know, pay bills that are due right now. So I, my heart goes out to you. I'm trying to give you as much information as I can so you can take action here um, and check and see if you are eligible for these payments, okay? And if you don't have your direct deposit information on file, please go and check that. But if you wanna build wealth, our channel is all about helping you build wealth. So please hit the subscribe button right here on the channel. We teach you how to start a business, how to invest in real estate, and how to get your finances in order. So if this mess brought you to our channel, this is an opportunity for you to start becoming financially intelligent right here with our videos. We'll see you next week, everyone.